if you're looking how to build a rack like this, then you clicked on the right video. Let's get right into it. All right, so to start off, you're gonna need some one by four. This is gonna act as the sides to hold the tubes in. Next, you're gonna need some one by three. This is gonna act as the end caps on your rack to hold the tubes in this way. It doesn't gotta be stained or anything. It's just what I got laying around, so I'm gonna use it. If you all are actually gonna build a rack like this, just for reference, 10 of these uh, fiberglass tubes are 20 and a half inches. So, so you can base all your measurements off of that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you got it. We're only nothing. You can base all your measurements off of that to determine the size of rack you're gonna want. You can do a 10 shot, 20 shot, whatever you wanna do. The two by three is also gonna act as the base, which the tubes are gonna sit on. So you'll wanna cut that down to your desired length. Just for reference, our racks hold 10 of these fiberglass tubes, and this bottom piece right here is 20 and 5 eighths. So now that I got my measurement for the base of the rack, I got my two by three, and I'll be cutting that down to 20 and 5 eighths. All right, now I've got my base cut, and that'll act as the piece that the tubes actually sit on. Now I'm gonna cut down the end caps, and those are just 12 inches long, just one foot, and that's all you need. And you'll need two of those. Now I've got two end caps cut down to one foot. Now I'm gonna cut down the one by four to 23 and 5 eighths. And I'll need four of those for one, two, and then three and four on the other side. I've now got all the pieces that I need. I got my four sides, got my two end caps, and my one base. Now it's time to assemble everything. So enter cool transition. And boom, just like that, you got yourself a rack. I used two inch screws on the sides, two inch screws, everything to do with this. And here's the final result. I kind of forgot to get some video of what it looked like after, but I ended up uh, putting both the ones that I just made in the video on the sides and then putting a little angle to it so that it throws it out at an angle into the sky. But I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was informative and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.